As COVID-19 vaccine distribution continues, college students are becoming a big focus. A clinic for Virginia Tech students next week filled up in less than 24 hours. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila is working for you to find out why these young adults are critical in the fighting the pandemic. Despite young adults showing mild reactions to the coronavirus, it's Dr. Danny Avula's priority to get shots in college students' arms before the spring semester ends. It's really the reality that college students are drivers of transmission. David Sanchez agrees as he was worried about bringing the virus back home to California. I think that if we have an outbreak here uh, and we don't know it until two weeks out, right, it might be that we spread it throughout the country. That's why some health districts already have student vaccination clinics underway. But a shortage of Johnson & Johnson vaccines may push clinics back a week. Avula points out three options to remedy this. One idea is to push back student vaccination to wait for more supply. Another idea is to pair colleges and pharmacies to offer on-campus clinics. The third option is to give out Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, but time is crucial because students need to receive both doses. Then they leave, it will take a different kind of coordination once they go home. It's a challenge Abigail Darko is worried about too. I think when people go home, accessibility changes because a university provides so many resources that at home you might not have those resources. The New River Valley is giving out first-time Pfizer and Moderna doses next week at Lane Stadium, and Virginia Tech students already booked all 2,500 slots. Ali Cottrell says it's a good sign because students need to remember they are guests in Blacksburg. I think a lot of students forget about that and think that we're young and healthy and immune, but that's not the case for us and it's definitely not the case for the community that we're in. In Blacksburg, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you. Avula expects to see 100 to 150,000 more doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in Virginia by the end of this month.